It's only a 10% chance of rain. Now that's a little different. We're used to at least 40% chance of rain. As this unsettled trend continues, the icky sticky feeling is here and it's gonna stay today and the next few days. Which isn't 110 miles an hour, but is still something to be concerned of. Future cast wants to paint in showers. Around 4.30 p.m. we should have those scattered pop-up showers. Now not everywhere is gonna get wet, but if it does happen to hit you, it will go away within 15 to 30 minutes. Nothing too long lasting today, and the same trend continues tomorrow. As it moves up the west coast of Florida, it should intersect Tallahassee directly by the eye wall. But by the time it reaches Tallahassee, it is expected to be a tropical storm or a Category 1 hurricane. Currently, Tallahassee and Thomasville are waking up to partly cloudy skies in Valdosta with cloudy skies. Now, Fog is definitely in the forecast this morning as it forms best under calm wind conditions. Now, if you notice that the wind direction changed from southwest to a little bit northwest due to this weak high pressure over the Gulf Coast, which will help decrease the chances for afternoon showers. So we shouldn't expect a whole lot of rainfall today. But this morning, we do have reduced visibility with four mile radius in Tallahassee, three in Bainbridge, seven in Thomasville. So waking up to a little bit more difficulty with our transportation. Now, yesterday we only saw six hundredths of an inch of rain. As that is a trend, there is not a whole lot of rain that's going to fall. And we're going to expect that rain a little bit more mid to late afternoon as it was yesterday. Now the current temperatures in Tallahassee is 77, 74 in Monticello, 77 in Thomasville, mid to upper 70s throughout the whole area. Clouds in the forecast, but not a whole lot of rain this morning. But if you are heading south out of the Big Bend region along Highway 19 from Cedar Key to Keaton Beach, there is a light to moderate showers that are moving its way northeastward, but as it moves farther inland, should dissipate as the day goes on. Now, yesterday we did have a record low at 64 degrees, but there was no rainfall yesterday. We can expect that to change as we get into tomorrow. Now, the current temperatures in Tallahassee is 76, 73 in Thomasville, around the mid to upper 70s in across the whole Big Bend region, which is very different from yesterday, as yesterday was in the mid to upper 60s. Now that just shows how different today is going to be from yesterday, as we have more of, the, of that moisture coming into our forecast. Now as we look at the Gulf, there is a slight disturbance out of the Gulf that is, has a, a counterclockwise flow that really helps contribute to our rain, our winds being from the north and northeast here with a little bit moderate seven miles and three miles per hour, a little bit more breezier today than yesterday. Now that will help contribute to the dry air sticking around for a little while, but as that disturbance moves more north, it'll bring more of that tropical weather around, increasing our chances, not more this afternoon, but as we go into tonight and tomorrow, we'll see the most chance of rain. But there is still a chance this afternoon for the scattered showers to pop up. Going into Thursday, we will see more consistent chance, uh, more chances for consistent showers tomorrow and heading into the weekend. Our gusting up to 140 miles per hour and in the Keys it actually there is still reports of 70 mile per hour winds. Tallahassee now we're waking up to a little bit drier start this morning and if you walk outside you'll feel a little bit of relief as the air isn't as thick with all that moisture as we are in a slight dry spell. Now there's not a lot going on on the radar and we will expect a clear sunny day today and as we look at the southeast Mainly the activity is centered off the west coast of Florida where tropical depression Emily is. And as if you take a closer look, you'll see that slight counterclockwise flow and that will help contribute to our winds being more calm and from the east and northeast bringing in that drier air from inland. Now we are ending July on a little bit drier note as we are two inches from being on schedule for the monthly rainfall. Now. There is going to be a lot of power outages across Florida. That is a big concern and it already is a concern. Now the light orange indicates 20 to 30 percent of the viewing area will have power outages. Now this is just a prediction. Again, I would prepare that there will be a lot of power outages. So make sure to fill up your bathtub with water fill up a bowl of water by the sink so you can brush your teeth. Just anything that you can do now, I would do. Now, what is a Category 2 hurricane, which it is currently sustained at 110 miles an hour off the coast of Maples? Now, 
as it gets towards Tallahassee and up the west coast as that westerly wind shear breaks itself down it will decrease to a tropical storm which is what Tallahassee will probably experience 39 to 73 miles an hour now this is still something to be concerned about so make sure you take your precautions and help your neighbors out and make sure everyone stays safe out there in Tallahassee off the south coast of Cape Verde, but there's a slight chance of cyclonic formation, so we won't have to worry about that too much. Now going on the waters, it is a little bit nicer on the water today than yesterday with only one to three feet and light chop today and decreased chance of showers. So if you're heading on the boat, it'd be a good day. Now the next high tide, you should expect around 6, 5 o'clock p.m. around the Big Bend region. Now this morning, we do have muggy, patchy fog in the forecast. And we're going to increase the rain chances as the afternoon comes around, around 60% chance. It's expected to mid to late afternoon, and it will stick around or possibly into the, the nightly hours as it will dissipate as we get around midnight. Now our extended forecast, we do have a lot of rain and soggy weather in the forecast. Today, tomorrow and Friday. As this trend will continue, we might have some sun speak its way through on Friday, but another soggy week ahead of us here in Tallahassee. Cloud, more clouds in the forecast. Now, today we're waking up to sunny skies in Tallahassee, Thomasville at 64 and 66 with we are not in the 70s this morning as we have a little bit cooler start with 60 in Monticello, 64 in Thomasville mid to upper 60s throughout the whole area for 8 o'clock this morning. Now, the dew point is a little bit lower at 64 and 60 across the whole area, which will help decrease the humidity out there as we are under the slight dry spell. As we see on the water vapor map, this dry air will move its way south, but then it will dissipate after a few days as we have this low pressure that will move its way off the coast of, west, uh, of the west coast of Florida. But... As we get into Thursday, this cold front will make its way in and increase the rain chances as we get to Thursday and Thursday afternoon as the August weather will come back. It's just the next few days we'll have a little bit of relief. Now, if we take a look at Tropical Depression Emily over the past four, 24 hours, now it's a little bit more disorganized and currently located off the east coast of Florida around Vero Beach, which is where I'm from.